Hi, this is Dan McKeown, and I'm doing a screencast about Grunt, Bootstrap 4 Alpha, and SAS. Uh, so we're going to take a look at a, a, a website project and, and see how we can adjust the SAS and then uh, uh, compile using Grunt. So SAS is uh, a preprocessor tool for CSS. You can write... Uh, your CSS using uh, tools like variables and other things and then compile into CSS which uh, as you probably know doesn't allow uh, such things so in order to uh, take full advantage of bootstrap uh, 4 uh, which is now an alpha we are going to look at how we can adjust the SAS so to give you an idea about our project here this is a website I'm working on for portfolio this uh, is using Bootstrap 3 CSS. Now, here uh, we're looking at the same markup but using Bootstrap 4 CSS. So, uh, I think uh, first of all, I want to make the font larger. So, uh, this is chapter 3. In chapter 2, we went and actually compiled the CSS in the new bootstrap for alpha so when we look at the directory here we look at um this disk directory has the css which it which was uh compiled about a half hour ago well uh what we're going to do is we're going to not look at the uh compiled css but actually the scss files now they have a pretty convenient file in bootstrap 4 called variables.scss with an underscore in front of it now if we scroll down here, we can see that right here, uh, we are going to see uh, typography 16px default. And then notice that we're using, uh, they're, they're using REM uh, measurements. So those are relative uh, to the root font size as we're setting here. So let's say we change this to 20. Now we're gonna go like we did in chapter two and actually compile using grunt now while we're doing that let's take a quick look at the grunt file that comes with bootstrap 4 so when we're when we're uh, looking at what they what they give us what what uh, kind of code does this come with the bootstrap grunt file obviously there's a there's a good deal of code uh, hundreds of lines um, looks like I'm getting a message from there uh, but um, there's there's a default task down here, and then uh, under that, uh, that's th those are the functions we ran. And now the linter seems to be throwing warnings, but overall, I think it'll compile. One of the things we can check is we can go in here and we can now look at that dist directory and see where the timestamp is. Okay, we have an updated timestamp. So now that project is linked to that same style sheet that we just compiled. Well, there we are. So we were able to uh, create a larger uh, font size, maybe a little too large, but uh, that, uh, that, that probably means we want to go down to maybe 18. But uh, because we were able to change the root font size in that uh, one uh, SCSS file, it's able to affect uh, the CSS that we're uh, using in the project. So when we look at bootstrap.c. SS, we'll probably see in here that um, our root font size is set at 20. Let's go down there. We'll find it right there. So thanks for watching chapter 3 of the Grunt series from me, Dan McKeown.